And then meanwhile, I was, I started listening to classic hip hop albums. And then when it was that time I had encountered NWA and, um, it, it's, it was almost like a sudden sort of conversion experience. I, I felt like I was dipped into the river of hip hop and was reborn. And what I really got connected with the, the album was that, especially this track called After Police. I don't know whether you know that track. Mm -hmm. you know of course, track. yeah. <laughs> great, great so I realized that it was not necessary. It was never about these clever stru structures that you have to come up with, like, thinking about things and that makes musical language. It's actually the deep and profound necessity, necessity that these people had. I mean, the, the kind of audacity, audacity to talk about that kind of subject, you know, like this is before this whole like cancel culture, cancel culture and like mm -hmm. social sort of awareness of these kind of problems. And they, they got into a lot of trouble and I felt like, wow, it's, it felt like freedom to me, like a freedom of expression. So I decided I was gonna pursue this seriously and then I kinda got into it uh, and um, realized that the underlying principle of hip hop, what we call now method sampling, mm -hmm. was there, right? So what method sampling is, is, um, is basically a way of taking taking principles, sampling principles that is foreign to your field. And then by reframing them, this is a very important part, mm -hmm. you actually kind of come up with something new. What I mean by that is that, for instance, when I first started uh, writing, my strategy was to actually use only classical techniques because I, you know, Mm -hmm. spent a lot of time and money to learn it might as well use it right so <laughs> and then by using those i wanted to create recreate like hip-hop tracks like bangers right couldn't do it and as what i've ended up making was this weird thing that was neither hip-hop nor classical and then that was my aha moment i was like okay so i realized that these kind of misunderstanding of others uh, other facts other systems actually promotes innovation, right? So, and then once I start knowing that, I start seeing that pattern everywhere. And like, I mean, it happens, for instance, like in social science or science all the time, like Darwin, mm -hmm. uh, for him to come up with the theory of evolution and then gradual sort of uh, development was inspired by this geologist, Charles Slyle, right? So he realized it's just, just like geological changes that happens gradually over time, the species and animals change their forms and change evolve that way. So the evolution idea came out of geology, like the principle of geology. And then here in US, we have people like, you know, Henry Ford looking at the butcher shop, going, you know, and seeing the conveyor belt, that everybody's doing their own one, one, only one job. And he used that, he met the sample to create sort of uh, mass uh, production line, right? So mm -hmm. these things happen throughout the field on, in human history, everywhere. And I felt like, I feel, I felt like you know, that, that is the essence of hip hop. Unlike what other people think what hip hop is, which is just surface level sort of, oh, well, maybe it's just misogyny, it's about materialism. I don't think that's, that's why we are into this music it's because it, it is truly innovative and there's at heart it at heart there's methicin 